Howdy folks, welcome to Dead Pit Radio, I'm Uncle Bill. And I am the creepy Kentuckian, if you will. What do we got up uh, in this special episode here, Uncle Bill? So, uh, something we've been doing lately that I thought was pretty entertaining is we have been watching fan films, and we only watch the most popular fan film, because that's how we are. We're fucking elitists when it comes to fan movies, and so if you... That- yeah, they need to be really short, too, like less than 20 <laughs> yeah. minutes. If you made a fan film we don't get to it, that's just because it wasn't popular enough. So don't worry about it. But that being said, we did Scream last time. And that yeah, what was, was it, Ghostface, else. the Scream fan film, right? Yeah, yeah. From our good friend Brandon Trabato, who left me a nasty uh, comment and then he deleted it like a fucking pussy. <laughs> If you're going to talk shit, leave your comment up there, Brandon Trabato. Yeah, if you Hell. ever want to, if you ever want to watch a scream fan film that's like twenty minutes of Ghostface talking people to death, then that is the fucking scream fan film for you. Uh, but this time, we are going to do Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan film, and like before, we've picked the one that has the most number of views and is also not. 30 fucking minutes to an hour long. It's got almost 2 million views, Uncle Bill. And we know that the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie on Netflix is coming up real, real soon. And we figured, hey, what the hell? Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's find a Texas Chainsaw Massacre fan film. This looks like it's one of the more popular ones at 2 million views. It's our good friend Gus Trapani. And... His Texas Chainsaw fan film, Sally's Escape from Hell, which is an interesting name. Yeah, and uh, just from what I've seen, a little bit I've seen of it, it looks like it ought to be really, uh, really interesting, though. And probably a lot more action-packed than uh, fucking Ghostface Talks people. Like, Let's <laughs> hope so. Ghostface Oprah. <laughs> is Leatherface going to sit time. down at the kitchen table and be like, look, yeah. look at the size of my chainsaw. <laughs> That's right. Isn't it nice yeah. sitting in a nice I chainsaw? A, I got a hammer that I bought at Lowe's, and this chainsaw, and he's going to talk him for like 20 minutes. This one debuted in 2016 on YouTube. Gus Trapani again is the director. Let's get, let's get it all queued up here. All right, I'm ready. So that's a familiar tune yep. right there, Uncle Bill. That, of course, is from the original Tex Chainsaw Massacre. I gotta say, so far it's already better than Ghostface. <laughs> it is. So yeah, I was assuming. I just watched a brief little bit of this. It seems like it's a continuation of the end of Texas Chainsaw One. Now I may be wrong on that because I have not watched it all. But that's kind of what I gather, or maybe a recreation of what could have happened that we didn't get to see. That girl's got a set of lungs on her. I'll give her that. Yep. Already a lot better actors. <laughs> like. I thought you was in a big hurry. Okay, so maybe not. The, the uh, hitchhiker is, is still around in this one. Dude. Like they, you can tell these guys are hardcore yeah. marks for the original yeah. movie. I wonder how long it took that girl to learn her lines. <laughs> You mean all the screaming? Sally? There's oh, Bubba. Shit. Oh, 
so yeah they uh, they do have a Facebook page as well you can search for Sally's Escape from Hell if you want to learn more about it but yeah so far so good I mean they've done it yeah you gotta give these guys credit man Leatherface looks pretty I mean he's not big or anything but the the costume and stuff's really good I wonder if that's the same guy it could be yeah He's a anorexic leather face. You would think it wouldn't be that difficult to find kind of like a chunky dude. Like a big dude, yeah. Yeah. Around here, you just go in Billy Ray's and throw a rock. You're going to find somebody that can wear it. Just go to the flea market on a Saturday. <laughs> Guy will probably smell worse than leather face. <laughs> He'll probably already have the mask. <laughs> Yeah, his real face is way scarier than a mask. Yeah. Did you ever find one of those masks at uh, the Walmart? No, yeah. no, I haven't seen I've seen anything like seen that. I've never seen them either. Yeah. I've never listened to this song this far. No, this is. With you. So they're they're at the point now where they're going shooby dooby dab dab dibby dibby. It's like Sammy Davis Jr. shit. They're scatting up. So they went so far to even get... It looks like it's like a... Yeah, it's a lime green chainsaw. That's what um, Leatherface used in the original. It's probably the same model. Can't start it, but they got one. Now he's got an orange one now that I actually start. I'm curious, like, is this just, like, their take on another ending for... Okay, so that's similar than the... Yeah. To the end of the original. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what they were going for here as far as... I think the... They could have probably done away with doing that. I wouldn't have done yeah. it. Maybe once or twice, but that's it. Cause yeah, so that's... far though, I mean, they've done a really good job with the cinematography and everything. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. Um, it actually, in a few shots, it looks like the original movie. Yeah, and I'm wondering, are they just doing a flat-out remake? Of like the end at this point? That's what it looks like. Yeah. That's what I'm gathering. It looks like maybe a reimagining yeah. of the ending of Texas Chainsaw 1. If he gets hit by a fucking 18 wheeler here in a second, you'll know that's what they're doing. Tennessee Ernie Ford, what is that? Yeah. That's the Gatlin brothers, I think. Oh shit, they got Toby Keith to be in this. <laughs> That's cute. I like how every guy Oh hell they <laughs> Toby oh, Keith's like, damn. Look. Oh hell man. How do you like me now? Every guy in this uh movie has like one of those barbed wire Arm tattoos. But yeah, I mean, the the camera work, cinematography. I mean, it's just nitpicking things is really the only thing that I could, that I would say about it. Like getting a real, look at this shit. There you go. I mean, that's pretty impressive, yeah. It's a Silverado, boys.
Yeah, so that's what it is. Typically, I mean, it's just a remake of the end of the movie. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, you gotta give these guys credit. That's a that is a pretty impressive fan film. Like I don't think many people could do that as well as they did. Yeah, I mean, I don't really know what the purpose of, is of no. it exactly, but I mean, it was impressive. I don't know if it was maybe just to showcase what they can do technically. Right. That's a cool shot right there. But I mean, really, what's the perp? What was the purpose of uh, Mori Povich Ghostface? I mean, <laughs> so <laughs> that's true. That's a lot. That's a lot better than that. Jenny Yates played Sally. So yeah, I mean, it's definitely more than likely a no budget. Yep. Uh, fan film, and it was very impressive. I will say hats off. To Gus Trapani and um, I guess Zach Bruce. He actually did play Hitchhiker and Leatherface. Same guy. Yep. Um, I mean, dude, you know, for somebody that probably just watched the movies and then had like had one person, one or two people help them, yeah, that's pretty impressive that you can recreate the entire. Like yep. in scene there. Will this be better than the Netflix movie, Uncle Boo? That's, that's the yes, question I have I'm, to you. I'm going to go ahead and lay money on it. This will be better than that fucking movie. Oh, gosh. We'll definitely have to do like a review of that. I'm actually looking forward to checking it out for some reason. I'm about willing to bet that movie will be like Army of the Dead or something. Like it'll look like that. <laughs> it'll just be a shit show. But, um, yeah, that is it. Uh, let us know down in the comments what you guys thought of it as well. And we will put a link to just the movie itself so you can watch it, you know, without the commentary if you want to. Uh, did a great job with it. Definitely a major improvement over the first fan film that we watched. No doubt about that. Um, and, yeah, it's getting me all geared up for the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie, which is just called... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, right? That's the most confusing shit at this point. Like, they've had two leather faces, <laughs> like three Texas Chainsaws. Like, I, people are just going to be like, what? Uh. Well, there's, yeah, the te just simply Texas Chainsaw. Yeah. Texas Chainsaw, th some, of, some of the copies are named 3D. You got the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake, Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Beginning just it's beyond confusing it's all a bunch of gobbledygook but that's it we appreciate you guys checking the video out and we will catch you guys next time over at dead pit mm -hmm. com. give us the thumbs up Off you butts. like subscribe and if you subscribe here's something else you can do once you subscribe you can click the bell notification right and it'll notify you any time that Dead Pit puts up new shit. Or don't. I really don't give a f if you do. I want you to. I want you to. <laughs> I don't let's, care. Let's keep our community growing here on I, YouTube. I don't, I don't like it. I don't want you to do nothing. Listen, they need to do that, pal. No, don't you yeah. dare do it. Thumbs up. Subscribe. And <laughs> click that button. Thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Dead Pit on Patreon.com is the only place to check out a complete archive of the old Dead Pit radio shows all the way back from 2005 on, in addition to the midweek shows and fan commentaries, exclusive podcasts, and much more. Dead Pit on Patreon.com if you're interested. Tiers start at only $1.